What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a brand new update which include patch notes, new content, and everything else. So we're gonna cover all that today to keep you informed. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on any Call of Duty news or updates. A quick reminder, I did post a video yesterday going over the season one content update and everything that we know about it so far. The update's actually gonna be a lot bigger than regular seasonal updates and it might be the largest that we've ever received based on the leaks that were found. So I'll have it linked down in the description, check that out. But anyways let's go ahead and let's jump into it so nuketown is officially back in the game they also have a nuketown 24 7 playlist for those of you guys who want to play hardcore instead they also have the hardcore variant of that map so that's going to be going live all the way throughout the entire weekend from now until monday morning nuketown will stay most likely in the regular rotation i'm not sure if they're going to extend the playlist throughout the entire week we also received triple double xp weekend this brought in double player xp double weapon xp and if you play zombie Zombies double gobble gum rate XP and this is available until Monday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with the addition of Nuketown it brought in the classic original version it looks like even the RCXD route actually works I went ahead and tried it out and it's still available so this is a literal carbon copy of the OG Black Ops 1 just with updated graphics now unfortunately they mentioned that they did not add this map in private match I know a lot of people especially within the zombies community they're trying to find some Easter eggs with the mannequins or maybe some sort of secrets involved within the map itself they usually like to do easter eggs when they add new maps unfortunately cod updates actually replied to this and they said nuketown is currently unavailable in private matches and will be added at a later date and they also put that on their trello board so i'm not sure if it's an issue or they just decided that they're just gonna go ahead and add it sometime later so for those of you guys trying to discover easter eggs or anything like that we'll be able to get that a little bit later on anyways we got a brand new set of patch notes that went live today fixing and changing quite a bit of things so let's go ahead and talk about that it says global stability addressed an issue where some players may encounter a black screen when loading into a public or private match for both multiplayer and zombies this was a very annoying glitch you would back out rejoin another match and it would still do the same thing so apparently they have finally fixed that that's really big and then the settings resolved an issue when trying to select dl SS or DLAA in the upscaling option. So if you tried to select these and you weren't able to, you are now good. And then the UI resolved an issue with the unlock notification for the diamond mastery badges. Sometimes when you complete diamond camo for a particular weapons, they actually won't appear or give you a pop-up. So you will continuously work on it and not even know that you already completed it. And then the multiplayer side of things for the maps removed a low town from the infected map pool because of how annoying the water is and with the zombies infected it just didn't really make too much sense and then for the modes they added infected to private match mode selection resolved an issue in free for all where scoring was based on total score rather than the number of elimination points resolved an issue in search and destroy where players could slide too far while diffusing or planting the bomb for weapons resolved an issue with the slug attachment on shotguns dealing incorrect damage i made a video talking about how broken this was a couple of days ago it looks like they have patched it they worked on the damage instead for some reason but it had insane spread and that was one of the reasons that made it broken it was like an aimbot weapon and then progression resolved an issue where challenges requiring dive kills were not being awarded properly stability resolved an issue with stability when using the uav resolved an issue with stability and in infected when earning medals resolved an issue with stability when using the vigilance perk and then now we jump into the zombies version so gameplay close an exploit that allow players to reactivate timed gobble gums enemies specials and elites killed by score streaks will no longer drop items terminus close an exploit that allow players to block zombie pathing with the tactical raft Liberty Falls resolved an issue that prevented score streaks from being used after completing the main quest. Resolved an issue that would leave the player in spectator mode when dying after completing the main quest. And then stability resolved an issue with stability when changing field upgrades. Added various server side stability fixes and the UI adjusted round UI limit to 999 from 256. Now these are the patch notes that they actually went ahead and fixed. There's a couple of things that they're still working on. For example, we are investigating a crash when attempting to play private match theater files and have temporarily disabled private match theater file playback. That's one of the issues. Another problem, it says we are investigating an issue where the minimap displays enemy arrows incorrectly or backwards when using the harp score streak. It looks like the update also may have broken the game because shortly after it went live, 
Call of Duty Updates posted this. They said, we are currently investigating an issue where players may encounter being stuck on the loading message of the day on Steam. Temporary workaround players may need to restart the application to enter the main menus. But I've been seeing comments of people saying that they're on PlayStation, they're on Xbox. It literally will say loading message of the day and not load them in either. So it doesn't look like the platform really matters. I did get this issue on Steam. I restarted the app a couple of times. I believe after the third or fourth attempt, it actually ended up loading me into the game. For Xbox, I had to actually restart the console, and I did restart that multiple times. It didn't fix after restarting the console. Then it ended up connecting and working. So for those of you guys who are on different platforms and you received this issue, be sure to just restart your app. If it doesn't work after a couple of times, restart the actual console or device, and then connect. And once you do connect, I wouldn't recommend you close your app until they resolve this issue because we're not sure how long this is going to be for. Right now, it's a little bad, but you can at least play the game. Servers are working and there's no problems with that, but it could potentially end up getting worse. Other than that, it looks like Call of Duty has been breaking records with the launch of Black Ops 6. They ended up posting this over on Twitter saying, thank you, Call of Duty's community, for making the launch of Black Ops 6 one for the record books, setting new day one and opening weekend records. And they also provided a photo. They said, together, you made Black Ops 6 the biggest Call of Duty three-day opening weekend ever. So it was number one in total amount of players that played the game, number one in the amount of hours that players actually stayed and played on the game, and then number one on the total matches that players in the community played. So it looks like Black Ops 6 is the most successful Call of Duty that they've ever done, surpassing all the OG games. And despite many people saying Call of Duty is dead, it's actually more alive than ever with way more players actually playing the game than previously available. And remember, this is not including Warzone. So once they do that Warzone integration and everyone who hasn't purchased Black Ops 6 joins in with the free to play experience, the game is gonna be even bigger than it is right now. So that's what's currently going on in terms of Black Ops 6. One of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to are gonna be the actual seasonal updates that we get because remember the four years of development didn't only go into the launch of the game, but also the post launch content. So we have an entire year where they're gonna have to do consistent updates, add brand new maps, add brand new weapons, new events, things for us to do. And that is more than likely what they also worked and scheduled. If you guys remember originally with Modern Warfare 2, there was a big Activision data breach and they ended up leaking, I guess, the entire year's plans. So they already have the plans scheduled. They have the dates. They know exactly when they're going to be dropping content, how many bundles they're going to be releasing, how many maps and how many weapons. So we're going to have a very good year. I'm expecting a very good year for Black Ops 6 if they decide to keep the momentum that they're currently going at right now. Anyways, with today's new update, this is the last thing to expect with this week. Now, next week, we are going to begin into the marketing, the hype, the preparation for the season one launch update. As we've already talked about numerous times, the update is on the 14th. And if you've been playing Call of Duty for a while or at least watching news videos for a little bit, you know that Call of Duty begins the marketing, the intel drops, the news, the key artwork for the season. They drop trailers, teasers, Things like that will always go live exactly a week before the update begins, and that is going to be next week. So maybe in as early as a Monday of next week, we might see something that Call of Duty is going to tease us with before they go ahead and give us the brand new update. So that's what we got. If there's anything else that pops up here, I definitely got you guys covered on the channel, but that's what to look forward to when it comes to next week's content. I do have a couple more season one videos that I will be posting over this weekend, so be sure to look forward to that. Subscribe if you are not yet sub to Never miss out on any Call of Duty news or updates. But it's been Boy Chizone. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.